Hi, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to fix a Logitech mouse. The one in particular is an M325. The problem with the mouse is as follows. As you can see when I open the battery compartment, if you look inside here, if you look over there, the little uh, terminal is falling in and out. It's dropping down. So what happens is when you put the battery in, it doesn't make contact as you can see look at that it's not making contact sometimes this happens because of putting the battery in sometimes because the mouse is dropped so i'm going to show you how to solve this problem now just having a look at another model this happens to be the m235 you can see that they've solved this on these newer mouse if you have a look there's a raised section there blocking this spring from falling down now you see that you try and push the spring down it doesn't it's blocked there so this one does not have that problem and on the m215 which is a very popular one if you have a look this one also does not have the problem as you can see there's almost a plate there which does not move so this one is not applicable okay so there's a few ways of solving this and i'm going to show you two ways the first thing you want to do is lift that up so if you could take a screwdriver and just pop that back up if you don't have a screwdriver maybe you've got something called long nose pliers and if you haven't got that just take a pin of some sort or something just to pop this little spring upwards so now it is in the correct position because that is in the line where the battery would make contact with it now what you can do is you can take some super glue they've got some super glue and i'm just going to super glue the bottom strip to the plastic see that bottom strip there i'm just going to super glue it to the little piece of plastic there right if you look closely you can see i've put a drop of super glue there you can see the super glue moving as i do this look at that there's a the super glue so i've put some super glue holding that bottom piece there now it's not quite dry yet but if you have a look you can see that the spring is already unable to shift down so that uh, shows me that that is a successful approach and what happens is when you put your battery in it won't drop that down just make sure you wait till the super glue dries and don't get any super glue on this part of that spring now the second method requires a special tool this is called a soldering iron and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the soldering iron just to melt a little bit of the plastic and I'll show you what I mean by that. You just be very careful here. You don't want to deform this opening. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the soldering iron and I'm going to kind of bend the plastic or, or burn the plastic up to make the profile a bit higher. See, I'm just wedged it in there. Right, so I made two grooves there and what I did is I basically depressed the soldering iron in and kind of shifted some of the plastic upwards to support that bottom part of that spring. So if you have a look there, you can see that I've raised that, I've kind of deformed the plastic, but I've lifted it. The super glue hasn't fully dried, but can you see that it won't go down because I've deformed that little platform. I've made it higher and fatter. Even though the super glue hasn't dried, you can see that when I put the battery in and out, it won't fall in, even if I drop this mouse. See there? Even when I try and almost force it, look, some people would just force it. You're supposed to press it in, but even if I had to force it, look at that, it won't fall in there. So now the mouse will work. Right, you close it and you switch it on and there you can see the little LED this mouse is now fixed please make sure if you are going to use the super glue method do not uh, put the battery until that super glue is completely dry otherwise it might just fall back in all right so there you go I've shown you two methods the first method is just to super glue it and wait maybe wait one hour and the second method is to use a soldering iron although a little bit more complicated and almost mold the plastic around that bottom part kind of making a new platform so the uh, this little spring terminal doesn't fall in. Alright, thanks for watching. Cheers.